Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert your regular birth date list to a dynamic one which shows the upcoming birthdays and also the age. Here is a list of birth dates of your friends and family. Let's say we want to track the upcoming birthdays. How would you do that? We cannot sort the date because if you do, it's going to sort based on the year and not the month and the day. So let's say if I sort this data, I'm going to go to home, sort, and let's say I do custom sort based on birth date, oldest to newest. You see, it sorts based on year. So a month of July is coming before April. So this is not a good way for us to track the birth dates. Let me undo this. So how do we solve this problem? To build a dynamic birth date list for that particular year, we need to first separate the year and the month. Before I start doing that, let me first convert this data to a table. So let me click somewhere within the table and under the home tab, you will have format as table. Let me pick this and it automatically picks the range and yes, my table has headers. Let's say, okay, great. So now we have name and birth dates. Let me just move it to the top. Okay. Now let's first extract the month and the day of this birth date. So let's first extract the day and then the month. To extract the day, we need to put in the formula equal to day of just the cell C4, which is the birth date. And when you press enter, you will get the day from the date. Similarly, to get the month, let's go to cell E4 and type in the formula equal to month of again the cell C4, which is the respective birth date. That we now extracted the day and the month of the particular birth dates of all our family and friends. So now we can easily calculate the birthday in a particular year. So let me just name this column birthday. Before I do this calculation, let's put the date for which we want to do the calculation for. So I'm just going to type in the cell D1 date and in E1 I'm going to type in the formula today. So this picks out the current date. To calculate the birthday for a particular year, we need to use the function equal to date of the year. We'll get the year from the cell E1 value, close the brackets. Make sure that you fix the cell E1 as we need to use the same cell for all our calculations. And then the month we are going to pick from the respective month's value. And similarly, the day is going to be the day value. Close the brackets and press enter. There. Now you see in material of the birth year, the birthday column now shows the birthday occurring in that year as mentioned in cell E1. Great. We now calculate the birthday. And now we can also calculate the age. So let me put in another heading called age. To calculate the age, all we need to do is find the number of days between the birthday this year and the birthday and divide it by 365. And to round it, we'll use the function int. So in cell G4, you're going to type in the formula equal to int of the number. So since you're going to do a subtraction, I'm going to open another bracket and type in the birth date minus the birth date, close the brackets. So this will give the number of days between these two dates and divided by 365. So now we've got the birthday this year and also the age they would be. Now it's time to generate our smart list of the upcoming birth dates. To do that, let me just first copy the headings with the control C or command C let me just paste it here and let's just merge these cells and type in upcoming birthdays this year. Here we'd like to generate a dynamic list based on the current date so that any dates which are present either today or upcoming this year should be shown in this table. To do that we are going to use two new functions which are available in Microsoft 365 and they are filter and sort. So let's go to J4 first and first try to get the data from this table 
of all the people whose birthdays are either equal to or greater than this date up till the end of the year. So we type in the formula equal to filter of the array is going to be our complete table which is table 2 and the data we want to include is based on our birthday should be either greater than or equal to cell E1 which is effectively the today's date and let me just close the brackets great Let's just change the formatting of the dates of all the birthday and birth dates. And I'm just going to keep a short date here. Great. There, we now got a filtered data of all the people whose birthdays are greater than or equal to the date in cell E1. It would be even better if we can sort this data. And that can be easily achieved using the function sort. So let's go to cell J4 again. And before our filter function, Let's type in sort, open the brackets. The array is going to be governed by our filter. And now we need to determine a sort index, which is basically the column in our array. In this case, it's going to be the birthday. So the column number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's type in the number 5. And the order we want it ascending. And that's it. Let's close the brackets. And that. Let's hide this to clean the data a little bit. Great. So now we have the list of all the upcoming birthdays this year for the date 17th August 2021. And let's say I change this date to 1st March 2021. So now this shows all the data sorted based on the birthdays going to come this year and the respective age of those people. By implementing this method, you'll be sure not to miss any birthdays. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.